You ever go to a movie and you expect one thing, you're like, I'm probably gonna like this, and then all of a sudden it takes a big shift and you're like, an emotional crying mess? My old ass will absolutely do that to you. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing My Old Ass. This is directed and written by Megan Park, who did such a phenomenal job with the fallout a couple of years back. If you never got to see that movie, I highly recommend it. Jenna Ortega is in it, and she is stellar. This time around, she's with a new coming-of-age drama where, after a mushroom trip, brings a free-spirited Elliot face-to-face -face with her 39-year-old self. But when Elliot's old ass delivers warnings to her younger self, Elliot realizes she has to rethink everything about her family, life, and love. Now, this stars the likes of Aubrey Plaza, which was like the main reason that I was going to this, mostly because anything Aubrey Plaza has either produced, written, or acted in over the last decade, not just in counting Parks and Rec, but specifically films itself, are always having a unique aspect or twist to it, or an emotional avenue that makes me eager to see what she does or to just see what she is a part of and I can see why she signed on to my old ass but the biggest surprise of this entire film was the actress Maisie Stella who did such a phenomenal job in this. That's about as much as I can say about the story without getting into spoilers but I am very excited to be talking about my old ass today so make sure to leave your thoughts down below hit that like and subscribe button definitely support the film in theaters if you love movies so much these are the type of movies you should see and also I always like asking this question because I think this is what's exactly going to happen with this movie. If you are watching this and you got a chance to see it in theaters please comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you got to watch it, but not in theaters and you saw it at home on streaming, let me know. I think this movie is going to go down as one of those underrated films and probably, I think as of right now, will be the most underrated movie of 2024 because it feels like it came out of nowhere. But with every movie review, I love talking about the pros, so let's dive right back into that. And the number one thing I want to mention again is Maisie Stella, who absolutely was phenomenal in this plays a young 18 year old who really fits for this generation in every sort of avenue grading kind of annoying but at times lovable and you understand where she's coming from and who she wants to be in this free spirited avenue and for me I really loved that approach and what Stella gives to this role really hits avenues and specifically how this coming of age drama for only an hour and a half where you don't have a lot of time to work with certain characters and certain set pieces and just certain certain avenues you have to rely a lot on your performance and what Stella is able to give here was something that actually made me an emotional mess by the end and primarily how much it can make you just want to call up your mom your dad your loved one and just tell them how much you love them it's just simple conversations and simple things of her hanging out with her brothers or hanging out with her parents really means the world it makes me look back at when I was 18 and certain things that maybe I said to my parents or my sibling or friends that kind of just makes it feel a little bit grating and you're like why did I do that film does ask you this question of what would you tell your younger self if you could and I think for me like if I were to go back there's like multiple things that you would want to tell your younger self not just like the financial stuff you'd be like invest in this no like specifically good advice and like one thing is is like other than just investing in something you would I would want to tell my younger self like invest in yourself like you love movies so much why are you not doing this earlier and that's one thing that I wish I was doing earlier was YouTube and talking films and studying movies a little bit more and at the same point in time I like that the film adds that question and like certain things that you wish like spend more time with your friends spend more times with your family don't worry about that heartache that broke your heart in the seventh grade it's not worth it like things like that just really make you rethink a lot of things and when one performance and just one film in general can make you really appreciate the things in your life more, that's something that really eagered me and was one of the things that I loved about this film. And a lot of that, while from Stella's performance, also goes down to Megan Park as a director and writer who I think really gets the joyous and also the tough parts of life. And if you didn't get to see The Fallout, I don't want to get into that movie too much. I think it's on HBO Max. I highly recommend watching it. But that film showcases something, a different aspect of appreciating life when you go through such an event that could completely upend it and you have to relive the fallout. My old ass starts out as something that's a comedy 
that kind of has these heart like heartfelt natures to it. And, you know, when I read that it was like them taking a mushroom and then, you know, all this stuff happens, I wondered how that was going to play out. And the way that Megan Park's writing, directing for it, everything never asks, makes you ask the question of like, how is she continuing to talk with her older self? And there's little hints, and we'll talk about that more in my mixed aspects of how I might think that might ruin some people's viewing points. But I really liked how she overall told that part of the story and how that kind of worked and how it really didn't matter. The thing that mattered was appreciating where you are in life now. And I think sometimes while the film is about an older version of herself telling herself her younger self stuff that would have maybe helped things, the vice versa on that is sometimes we can actually learn from our younger selves or just younger people. And that's something that I don't think a lot of us take for granted. I think a lot of us look for where we are at right now and what we want in the future, but none of us ever look back in time and appreciate those smaller moments and appreciate the now of what we have. And it's really unique to see how this film can get that emotion out. And alongside that, Aubrey Plaza, who's not in here as much. A lot of it is more of her voice. And guys, I apologize. I, I think I have a tear in my eye. Holy shit. Um, but Aubrey Plaza is not in this lot. It's a lot more of her voice. But the first, first time you see her, she's great. And then a couple more times after that, by the final point that you see her in this film, again, that emotional crux was the thing that really hits the whole nine yards. And it's some things are a little bit predictable, but either way, shape and form, whether whatever you're trying to bring to light, Megan Park is the writer and director deserves your voice. And she hits that emotion. And that's the thing that it really worked for me. So as simple as this movie can get, sometimes we just do need a simple film that teaches us to learn from our younger selves and to also not just reflect back on those times that it's okay for certain things that we go through to happen in our lives. So that said, let's jump into my mixed aspects. And this department's not things that maybe I was mixed on, but more things that I think other people might be mixed on. And one of those is, is how does it work that she's talking with her 39-year-old self? As I mentioned, I think there's enough hints that for you to have those open possibilities. Some people might want a definitive answer. You're not going to get that. For me, I like the enough explanation and enough hints to how it works. That's all that mattered to me. My not might not work for you, but I don't that's not the point of the film. Alongside that, there are certain predictable avenues and certain things that I wish maybe they would have touched on a little bit more. More family bonding time, things like that. But this is a smaller independent movie that I wasn't expecting any of those natures, but some people might be. That's where I have to say my old ass will go down as probably the most underrated movie of this year. And I hope I'm wrong for that. I hope everyone gets a chance to go and give a shot to this movie because this is a movie that a lot of people deserve to see and will make you reflect on your current self right now. I cannot believe how good this movie was. I genuinely couldn't. And if I knew going into this that, oh my God, like that was the director of this movie, I probably would have expected that. But I thought this was going to be a fun little comedy with a nice coming of age drama that's going to teach you a little bit of things. And it made me walk out an emotional mess. And Maisie Stella, I cannot wait to see what Maisie does next because she's so good in here. Same thing with her Aubrey Plaza. The rest of the cast is also great. But overall, I really loved My Old Ass. I hate that that's the title, but it makes so much sense. But I love this movie, and I think a lot of you guys will as well. So with all that said, I'm going to give My Old Ass an A. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts. And of course, until next time, stay classy. And let me know down below, what would you tell your younger self? Or what would you want your younger self to tell you?